Okay, this is the first run of something I put together today. It's a Bedini SSG, 650 winds, uh, by fire of course, and the wires themselves, the gauges are really quite thin, it's just wire that I had. So it's about, I don't know, 24 and 28, something like that. It's quite thin indeed. Uh, I've used the tube from the Dremel to put the coil into, and these little discs that you get, I've got one in front of the coil, the idea was to put spaces in. Uh, just, just the one is in front there. So this circuit is one that I was testing uh, this with. This is uh, a proper kit, a Bedini kit, that I've been making for a guy. And uh, now that the circuit's better on that one, it's got all, all of the three coils going now. I thought I'd use the tester one and carry on a bit of learning. So the voltage is at the moment 12.29. I'm charging up that battery there, which was in the garden for a couple of years, in the winters and all the rest, and wouldn't charge normally at all. Uh, it came back to life a little yesterday when I was testing out this here, and so uh, carrying on with that now, I charge it up some more. The power supply is just a PC power supply that I'm using to actually run the thing with. I didn't want to risk batteries on, on that <laughs> on that heap there, but. Um, Let's see, now we're going up 12.30. It's slower charging than the real one, but uh, yeah, I like this a lot. As I say, it saves that guy's bearings as well while I do my own test on my own batteries. Okay, thanks for watching. Right, an hour later, and it's just coming up on 12.40. I'll switch it off now. I've used the uh, PC power supply to a flat 12 volts. Okay, here we are winding down. I'll show you the rotor because it's uh, quite a mess and quite surprised it was running after an hour. Here we are. What it is, it's four bits of magnets. Oops, there's the thing. Four bits of magnets uh, taped to the side that came from let's see one of those from a hard drive I just crunched it up and put the four pieces on the side there it was a long time back and uh, so we'll see what the rest in voltage is when it all settles down 12.20 12.21 and uh, so there we go so I'm quite happy with that run and I'll refine this oh just to show the coil that's how it goes into the thing from the Dremel that holds these little discs and just found that just the one at the end was about right and also uh, I'll try and take it away from the washing machine so it makes a bit less noise okay thanks for watching